Well, in a few hours, a Youngstown baby who's been battling cancer begins a series of tests to see if the treatment has worked. I recently had the opportunity to sit down with Candace Newby. She gave birth to twins, a boy and a girl, on September 7th. But just weeks later, mom noticed her new son, Torrance, wasn't breathing right. Uh, he would have this rattle sound when he would breathe, and it would get louder the older he got. Candace Newby's gut feeling led to back and forth trips to the ER. Yeah. And they just kept telling me to suction him, to use saline. Instead of providing answers, the visits caused more frustration. I just felt like everyone was trying to put me off, like I was an overconcerned mother and I didn't know my child. Right around Thanksgiving, Newby had enough. I took him back to the emergency and I told them that I'm not going to leave until you find out what's wrong with my son. And that's when they scanned his neck and they found the cancer. It was the last thing mom expected to hear about her three-month-old son. Torrance was immediately flown from the valley to the main campus of Akron Children's Hospital. Newby would come to learn her son had neuroblastoma. A cancerous tumor that develops from nerve tissue was growing in her son's neck on his left side. The bigger the mass was growing, um, the more it was closing his windpipe. So that's what caused the noise. The cancer had also spread to the other side of Torrance's neck, and for mom, two weeks in the intensive care unit was rough. There was little she could do to comfort her baby after surgery to remove that tumor. Mom says following the operation, Torrance suffered a collapsed lung, among other issues, but her Superman bounced back as best he could. I just wanted the doctors to tell me that he was going to live. You know, whatever journey he had to go through, I was willing to go through it. Any medicine, any chemotherapy I was willing to go through, I just wanted to know that in the end, my son is going to live. So later today, I'm going to be traveling up to Akron to mm -hmm. be uh, with mom and baby as mm -hmm. they kind of begin these series of tests to determine mm -hmm. what's coming up next. Family is very optimistic that everything is going to work out for the best. Mm -hmm. And they really have talked about the community's support. Uh, the community has really kind of rallied up behind them. Mm -hmm. And I mentioned the twin. He's a twin. His yeah. sister Taylor, you saw there in the video, um, she is okay. Everything's good with her. So... Um, Mom's been through a lot, and she does right. have two other children, school-age children, wow. so really a lot on her plate. Yeah, twins themselves, overwhelming, mm -hmm. and then to find out so soon after they're born that the mm -hmm. one has a problem like this, and it's, isn't it constant with doctor's visits and all that? Yeah, constant, back and forth trips from here in the valley to Akron and Akron, mm -hmm. and um, she really kind of talked about her mom being a big role, right. kind of helping with all of this, mm -hmm. because it takes away from, you know, the other kids as well. But uh, we're going to follow along and have an update at noon and also tonight at 6, so be sure to watch that. And uh, the doctor, we talked to the doctor as well, and later mm -hmm. today on WKBN.com, mm -hmm. you hear from uh, Dr. John Fargo. He kind of talks more about neuroblastoma, and really this is a cancer that affects infants. A lot of times it's diagnosed before the age of 5 and a lot of times even younger than that. Yeah. And mom says, you know, really, she noticed that irregular breathing, loud breathing. Right. And she kind of acted on it right away. Right. I mean, she got a little bit of a pushback from doctors. Right. But uh, she kept going back. And you wonder, you said she had other children. Sometimes a new mom mm -hmm. will hesitate to challenge the doctor and say, look, I'm not leaving until somebody takes a look at this, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, sometimes you just get a gut feeling and you know something's wrong. And for neuroblastoma, there's about 700 new cases uh, every year. And mm -hmm. uh, the doctor really said early detection is key as far as having a successful treatment and being cancer free. Yeah. Um, so out of the 700 cases, um, he talked about if you have a low risk factor, mm -hmm. you have about 100% survival rate. Uh -huh. uh, but if you have a high risk factor, it kind of jumps down to about 60%. All right. Well, we're going to be watching tonight to see how everything goes. And we'll be back with more First News right after this.